way. And Sinister, well, Gambit became a good guy. But the punchline in my Sinister story was that the trouble with the X-Men is that Gambit began to become self-aware and develop his own instincts and his own ambitions and didn't want to be a clone patsy for Sinister and liked being a good guy. So when that all went up the spout, I just said the heck with it and stole all the ideas I had for Gambit and took them to uh, Huntsman, which was going to be a story, which was going to come out from Image. And then that sort of self-destructed and Huntsman got kidnapped by a movie. At least the name anyway. Darn you, you! And then they made a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Answer your question. Yeah. Um, speaking of the movies, what's it like watching the movies where they sort of skipped over the history of the X Men and started right where you did? Censor. Um, versions of the characters. Do they consult you or do you just go watch them like we do? Well, at the risk of being egocentric, which I never. Fox deal was partially all my fault. Because back in the day, I was part of management. Marvel. I was <laughs> vice president of editorial. And this goes back to the 80s, 1989. Stanley and I are in Stan and I have a, have a meeting. It is so cool. Big name director is interested in making comics. Some of you may have heard the story, I apologize about that. And he's just set up his own studio. And he wants to he wants to work with Marvel. So we drive up to somewhere north of of uh, north of Hollywood, north of LA. And we go to Wild Storm. Sorry, Light Storm. Too many storms. Which is a brand new company to meet with their new head, a director you may have heard of, last name Cameron. And he just done the abyss. So we go into his, we go into the conference room. There's this beautiful, huge photograph in like eight pieces because it was so big you couldn't make a single frame out of it of the, the, the fleet ballistic missile submarine crashed at the bottom of the, of the trench in pieces. You know, this is a shot from the, the rescue sub, or at least one of the, the subs coming down from the, uh, the oil rig. And it was way cool. And there are all sorts of other templates lying around, and we're talking about the idea this is going to be such a cool thing. And Cameron sits down, he says, yeah, he loves the X-Men, he thinks it's a cool concept, he likes the idea of mutants, yada, 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 blah, 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 we're all kind of, you know, Stan's sitting there going, yeah, Stan, Stan, Stan. I'm sitting there kind of like, Cameron, I'm getting a chance to work with Jim and Cameron. I'm going, this is going to be so cool. You know, because I thought Piranha 2 was just the bee's knees. <laughs> Anybody here ever seen Piranha 2? It is cool! <laughs> you know, 